The adventure of the noble bachelor begins with Dr. Watson meeting Sherlock Holmes and their visitor, Mr. Harold Stackhurst, who is the headmaster of the Fitzroy College. Stackhurst informs them of a strange disappearance of his friend, Lord Robert St. Simon, and his bride, the former Hattie Dray, both of whom have vanished from their home in London, two days after their wedding ceremonies. Stackhurst reveals that he had been invited to the wedding, but had arrived late and was greeted by an agitated Lord Robert. The next morning, while strolling in a park near the house, Stackhurst came across a pair of slippers and an abandoned bouquet of flowers which he recognized as belonging to Hattie. An extensive search of the grounds revealed no clue as to their whereabouts, prompting Stackhurst to approach Holmes for assistance in the matter. Holmes and Watson then take up their investigation and travel to the house where Lord St. Simon and Hattie Durant had been staying. Though the couple had vanished, Holmes is able to make several deductions from the few pieces of evidence available. He deduces from an inspection of the grounds that Hattie had been involved in a struggle, which had begun on the bridge overlooking the river. The slippers were discarded during the struggle which had been observed by someone else as there were latent footprints of another man found on the bridge. The investigation leads them to an old acquaintance of Lord St. Simon, Francois Lavalar, a Frenchman who has recently been released from jail after serving a sentence for forgery. Though Lavalar is able to provide some information about the case, Holmes is eventually able to identify the true culprit, who had in fact been present at the wedding. Through further deductions and interviews, Holmes is finally able to discover the truth. It transpired that Hattie had been a bigamist and was in fact already married to another Frenchman, Felix Audrain, whom she had been legally wed to in America. Lord St. Simon had unwittingly married her before finding out about her true marital status and when he confronted her about it, Felix Audrine had burst into the house, causing Hattie to flee in fear. It was during this scene that both of them disappeared, with Hattie being whisked away by her first husband while Lord Robert had been too proud to pursue them. In the end, Lord Robert is reunited with his second wife, and the case comes to a close.